There's nothing quite as American like a story about a boy and his dog. Stories we can relate to, like finding an unlikely friend, realizing the talent within, breaking the barriers that make us feel alone, or a boy becoming a man, then a father, and a husband. Damn it, Angus. Don't cry. Hell, a boy and his dog inspired a duo you might just be a bit fond of. I thought, just maybe, Old Yeller might reflect the state of Star Wars. And I couldn't be more wrong. From the mind of round-headed buffoon Ryan Johnson and producer-slash-glorified secretary Kathleen Kennedy comes over two hours of cinematic abortion. Star Wars The Last Jedi. <laughs> oh, fuck, Mom! Don't let it hurt me! Some of you may think, wow, Angus has clearly gone off his rocker. Did you write this with the other half of that rye bottle? Well, just hear me out. Old Yeller is a comparison we need today as Star Wars fans. A story of a young boy whose family happens to take in a bothersome dog in their neck of the woods, only to become the best of friends, another chapter in the primal bond between man and beast. When Yeller defends the family from a rabid wolf, the boy takes a step closer to manhood, putting Yeller down. Travis took responsibility. He, like us after the first view of The Last Jedi, held out hope. Maybe Yeller ain't hurt. Maybe Disney Star Wars can be fixed. Travis became more of a man that day because he didn't let the bond or his love blind him from responsibility. If anything, pulling the trigger was the real act of love that we need to reflect in our fandom. Just like Yeller, Star Wars isn't what it once was. It's gone mad, rabid, attacking those who loved it all this time. The SJW infection taking it beyond all recognition. I'm not saying to stop loving Star Wars, but we need to learn to let what we love go if it's turned against us. All the cool and recognizable tech and imagery mean nothing if they're devoid of meaning, introspection, and characters with depth and relatability. Is the resolve we had boycotting Solo still there? A push to make a point that we aren't loyal to just the label. Or will you fall prey to the shiny trap of Fallen Order, a Kenobi series, Clone Wars, and everything else they'll throw at us? What trust has Lucasfilm earned back from us, the paying fans? It's time to acknowledge the hurt, accept it, and let it go.